In this video, I'll walk through how I create the G code to carve a wooden sign on my homemade CNC machine. The first step is to model a piece of wood that the sign will be made out of using Fusion 360. The first step of that is to first create a sketch. We'll select the XY plane and then add a rectangle to represent the piece of wood, which is going to be 4 inches high by 14 inches wide. Get that centered. We'll finish the sketch. We'll select it, press Q for extrude, and give it a thickness that matches the board, which is 3 quarters of an inch thick. Now the piece of wood has been modeled. What we want to do is place the graphic on the piece of wood. Now the graphic that I'm going to be using has been designed within PowerPoint and saved as an SVG file. So I'm going to go ahead and import that and place it on the face of this board. So the first thing to do is to create another sketch on the face of the board and then go to insert, insert SVG, and then we'll select the file that has previously been created in PowerPoint, click open, and there's a couple things that need to be fixed. One is that we need to rotate it to the correct orientation. The other is that we need to size it, even though it had the same dimensions within PowerPoint. We need to fix that in here, and we'll do that by scaling it by 64%. Click OK, and that now matches the dimensions of the board that we created. And the final thing is to remove the text that gets imported. Once we do that, now we're left with our sign completely modeled. We'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and finish the sketch. And now we're ready for the next step to generate the G code. We'll change the workspace to manufacture. This is where we can pick the tool path to engrave the sign. The first step is to create a new setup. We'll select our work coordinates system, which is going to be the bottom left, which matches where the board will be on the CNC machine, and then go over to stock and make sure that we remove any stock offset since we won't be taking anything off the stock. We are only going to be engraving. Click OK. And now we're able to select the engraved tool path. So we'll select the tool that's going to be used. And for engraving, you need to use a chamfer mill. I'll use this particular chamfer mill. Click OK. Next step is to go to the Geometry tab. And now we have to select each of the lines that we want to be part of the engraving. And that includes the inner lines of the letters. I'd love to know if there's a faster way to do this but I have not found one yet, other than manually selecting each individual line. Again, remember, don't forget any of the, the inner contours. OK, that looks complete. We'll click OK. And it's going to be generating the, the tool path there. And once that is done, what I like to do is do a quick simulation just to make sure that the tool is not going to be hitting anything within the work. So I'll go ahead and press play. And you'll see the bar is completely green, which is good. If there was a problem, it would mark a section in red. I don't see anything. We'll speed that up. Everything looks good. So now we'll actually have Fusion 360 generate the G code. So we'll go up to Actions say post process. Now the post processor we're using is specific to the gerbil board. I'll leave a link in the description on where I got that particular post configuration file. So I'm going to use the default values for this, click post, and then you select the file where it's going to save. And then it will open that file and this is the contents of what it has created. So now the final step is to go to Universal G Code Sender to actually send the G code in the file to the gerbil controller. 
So we've got an open universal G-code sender. Click open. We'll navigate to the file that we just created. Click open. Go to the visualizer and make sure that the visualization here matches what we modeled up in Fusion 360, and it does. And so at this point, you can connect the CNC machine and click play to have the G code sent to the controller. And this is how I generate the G code to carve signs on my homemade CNC machine. Thanks a lot for watching.